What Tradier does is it, it creates a platform for the world to access the US equity and stock markets. We came to this point through design, but on the way, we, we had such a huge learning curve and a, a lot of accidents have taught us a lot of great things. Tradier was built on a radical idea that if you build the true fabric that will remove all the heavy lifting that people have to do to offer products to investors, then it will change the way products are delivered to investors like you and me. The gap in the market is if today somebody wants to offer an investment product, whether it is a trading platform, whether it is a digital advisor, whether it is an international firm trying to get access to the US capital markets, the only way they can do it before Tradier was to build that whole fabric themselves again. It takes years and millions for them to build that structure. And the hurdle for them to offer that is basically too difficult. And so you see the symptom in the market. There is not a lot of innovation for a long time in the market. So we have opened up that process and made it easy for anybody to build a financial product in the market without having to do all that ground up effort. So we reduce the amount of time it takes for financial products to launch from years to sometimes to a few months. What I call as democratization is replacement of existing legacy vertical offerings by large incumbent firms with new, nimble, agile, quicker, larger number of offerings that at a much lower cost and price that are accessible to investors like you and me. And that is a theme that is hitting the, the market in general. What you are seeing is a replacement of a verticalized model with a two-layered model of people who innovate and people who enable. We look at Tradier as a force that is enabling that democratization. I expect the next three to four years as the wave where you'll actually see a new set of models and a new set of offerings that will challenge the status quo in many, many ways. I think we're seeing the second wave of innovation in financial services. The first wave is what I think is creation of capability in iterative fashions. And the next wave of change that I see is internationalization of this capability. So you are seeing symptoms of that now today. You see a massive interest in the Chinese and the Asian markets to participate in the US markets. Now, if you think about why that is the case, it is fundamentally because in wave one, the, the creation and openness is being created. In wave two, capitalization of that capability gets created. So in general, I expect the fintech innovation and fintech creation of value and the fintech creation of choice to continue for the next three to four years, all for the benefit of the end investor like you and me.